this is wet cuckoo being loaded. How? Oh. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> wet cuckoo being loaded to go on the trees for drying. So, you almost finished working? We load it onto the trees, pack it in buckets, and then load it onto the trees for drying. It's usually stored in a bin where it has to ferment for a while. And once it reaches the right level of fermentation, you put it into the bins, into the trees for drying. So, this is Kim. Getting ready to. And Philip. Getting ready to empty the cocoa down to the tree. We don't have such a great day today in terms of sunshine, but with cocoa you have to take whatever sunshine you can get because, like I said before, we dry cocoa in a traditional way. We really did it since the 1600s or maybe before that in the summer. trees and you have to monitor it. Watch out for the rain because if the cocoa gets wet then you will lose your whole cocoa crop. These are the trees. So I have to get up here to help spread out and rake the cocoa. Like this is an empty tree. These are empty trees. We'll put the cocoa in it in a minute but these are trees that we already started packing and emptying the cocoa onto. So this is actually wet cocoa. First day out of the sea. This is Philip emptying the bucket. And I will have to leave now because my job is to rig and spread this cocoa out. See? This is my job. To take this rig and start spreading the cocoa out. Yes. Ah. Okay, so this is the red cocoa. I made a cocoa. And you have to spread it out. This is me trying to film it with my phone and spread the cocoa at the same time. But this is just to give you a sense of the process is what you do. And then Skim and Philip empty in the buckets. Anyway, I have to go because it's time to spread cocoa. We have to get the sun.